bind my wandering heart to thee. There are times during the hard seasons when our hearts may wander from the gravitational pull of God's love. But what if the trials, hardships, struggles, and detours were actually for your good? What if these difficult seasons were meant to help you destroy idols buried in your heart? What if God needed you to make mistakes and suffer hardships to mold you, grow you, and sanctify you into the mature believer He has called you to be? What if all of these things happen for you and not to you? Perhaps the trial feels never-ending because instead of growing and getting better, you pulled away and became bitter. Every season of life, the highs and the lows, are all needed for you to learn to give grace more freely, to forgive others more easily, to show compassion more deeply, to protect others more boldly, to soften hearts more humbly, and to love unconditionally. Our purpose is to know, love, and be more like Jesus. Therefore, we must pursue Him if we want to become more like Him. Allow your selfishness and stubbornness to be stripped away and offer your heart to Him. Accept the lifeline He is throwing you and jump into the deep, fully trusting Him to pull you toward the safety of His open arms. Our lives will never be perfect. We will continue to fight the battles, endure the struggles, swim in the seas of confusion, walk through the fires of pain, and be battered by the waves of rejection. This is what Jesus meant when He said, For in this unbelieving world you will experience trouble and sorrows, but you must be courageous, for I have conquered the world. John 16 33 TPT. This week, make a commitment to continue to make it your goal to grow in the likeness and perfection of Jesus Christ. Allow Him to lead you. Relinquish all you are and all you have as an offering to Him. Then, trust Him to lead, guide, and direct you into His perfect will for you here on earth.